Ella McCauley of Pray It Off in Syracuse, New York. Did you honestly think that you would get out of here tonight without me bringing up the Super Bowl? <laughs> Did you think you would? Absolutely not. Here's, I got two words about the Super Bowl. Who cares? Yeah, right. I do not care about the Super Bowl. I already told you if Buffalo was in it, it'd be a different story. But the two most calorie-filled weeks of the year, even more than Thanksgiving, is the week before Super Bowl and the Super Bowl. The second unhealthiest week is when people purchase closer to 5,500 calories per serving is the week before the Super Bowl because they're planning. All that stuff's coming in the house. They think that it's an excuse to... Now, is anyone going to a Super Bowl... No one wants to raise their hand. I'm not going to ask you. <laughs> a Super Bowl party. To me, all right. But there's a, you can have a party, hey, it's uh, the first night of the new star in the East. Do you want to have a party? You can have a party for anything. The whole thing is, you, the, this country consumes a disgusting amount of food during the Super Bowl. Anxiety, elation, or in many cases, boredom, uh, because who cares? We have a herd mentality. If you go to Wegmans or Price Shopper on Saturday, it's going to be a zoo there. A zoo. You know why? Everybody's buying stuff in the Super Bowl. I am saying this is a weight loss group. We do not need mindless eating on the Super Bowl. And I, I, I don't know what else to say about it. If, if you're going to eat what you want to eat. But if you have one piece of pizza and one wing versus half a pizza and 12 wings, that's something. But you really need to look at the reason. Like, take, take, there's a few discouraged people in the group tonight. They practically cried at the scale because they worked so hard this week. I'll give you my own example. I said, you know what? I've been in a plateau so long, I'm really going to take a really good look, and I, I know i got to build muscle, I know i got to exercise more. So I started exercising an hour and 20 minutes a day. That's besides everything else I do. Hour and 20 minutes, aerobic, riding that bike, marching in place, putting up the weights, no snacks, no bread, no alcohol. This week I said, you know, man, I was on fire. I said, I'm, I'm going to lose at least two pounds. I know it, I know it, I know it. Got on the scale today, did not lose a pound. So then my first reaction was, are you kidding me? What do I need to do, you know? And then I thought, wait a minute. What is the downside of eating healthy and exercising? Is there a downside? No. No. So I don't lose weight this week. My blood pressure is good. My cholesterol is good. It'll happen if God wants it to happen. We are on a journey. We need to discover new things. We need to take those tools and sculpt that bust. I didn't have any turmeric last week. Did anyone have turmeric on anything? Oh, I knew you would. Put your hand. This girl has everything good. I put 12 reasons why the rest of you should eat more turmeric. And there's many of you going, what the heck is that? The only thing I want to say about it is it's supposed to be the greatest thing since sliced bread. You only need a half to a quarter teaspoon a day. So I'm not suggesting you sit there and go, oh, I would say turmeric was good for me. <laughs> you heard him saying a half a teaspoon a day. You sprinkle it on a salad, you put it on a stir fry, and it's really, really, really good for you. And I also put in recipes in here that are easy. So many people are lazy. So I put easy. Winter fruit salad. It's only 91 calories. Italian vegetable bake, 37 calories, 70 milligrams of, of, of uh, sodium, nothing. They're easy. Cauliflower salad, crunchy crab salad with tomato. What don't you see in any of these things? Meat. These are for Lent. Low calorie, low sodium. Don't say taste, because they do taste good. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. How do you keep working out in the winter? I hate the gym. 
I, I'm not a gym person, so I work out at home. I work out in my office. You team up, you listen to music, you pray for your group, you get out and have some fresh air. You aim for more than what you're doing now. Muscle burns more fat. If you're not lifting hand weights, you should be. But as I always say, you got to do something. Lent is a journey to the cross. If we remember the sacrifices of Jesus Christ, what is losing a couple of pounds? If we think about those of us who have people in our lives who are suffering, what's giving up a candy bar? I'd like us to prayerfully listen to the song, Lead Me to the Cross, and let's ask Jesus Christ to help us have the best Lent ever. Yeah.